Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. When the removal of carious dentin results in a pulp exposure, and the exposure is of such a size, and the history that the patient has given is of such a nature that the treatment plan will be a direct pulp capping procedure, an intermediary base such as calcium hydroxide, DICAL, can be used to cover that aspect of the pulp exposure. Again, this exposure would be something less than one millimeter in diameter. The base material is dispensed in something like a two millimeter uh, amount onto the paper pad. And the catalyst, which permits the material to form a firm membrane over the exposed pulp uh, is deposited in a similar amount. And with a clean spoon excavator, the materials are mixed together to a uniform color. This can be done in a matter of a few seconds. The end of the instrument is wiped clean. A small portion of the material can be picked up on the spoon excavator and can be placed into the prepared tooth. Again, if the pulp exposure were of such a size as to permit the direct pulp capping procedure, the material would be deposited into the prepared cavity over the area of the pulp exposure and extending just beyond the lateral dentin wall. A second intermediary base material is zinc oxide and eugenol in a thin paste form. The Cavitec is such a material that is used to cover the calcium hydroxide of the direct pulp cap. Also, this material is used in covering the deeper dentin areas in a class C remaining dentin cavity depth. A base form of the material is first dispensed again in approximately a millimeter, two millimeter diameter portion. The accelerator proportioned in a similar volume And with a clean spoon excavator, the base and accelerator mix together to a uniform color. When this is accomplished in a few seconds, the spoon excavator is wiped clean, a small portion picked up, and this carried to the lateral aspects of the dentin wall to cover, in this case, the calcium hydroxide, or again, it may be covering the full dentin area of a class C remaining cavity depth. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.